My friend, if you start your path in trading, you start it from the right course. It is a full course for beginners where I will show you how to analyze chart, read chart and watch this video till the end because exactly at the end you will get free trading patterns with real stop losses and take profits. I will show you real examples how to trade it. Also pay attention to this lesson plan uh, in video description. You can find time links if some topic of this uh, video you already know you can skip and watch uh, topics that's really important for you also friends i first time share such really comprehensive course for free that's why i ask you to push like and also if you are new here subscribe to this youtube channel to be updated in next uh, future lessons that will help you trade and make money let's start remember that everything in trading start with a price price it is a key of all charts and everything because it doesn't matter how you what strategy you will use all of them based on a price because every indicator based on a price every technical analysis tool based on a price every volume based on a price that's why it's so important to understand how that price uh, looks and how it works let's start from a basics it is about candles uh, how to read candles Honestly, candle, it is a really beautiful stuff. I like candles because candles show to you a lot of information. How candles creates. First, uh, candles uh, shows to you four type of information. It shows to you open, close, high and low. How candle creates. Price starts, candle opens, after that price fluctuate. And, uh, for example, candle closed here. And after that, its body, its body, it creates such body. It shows to you lowest uh, price uh, of that period, highest price, where it opened and where it closed. Quite often, uh, we have bullish candle. Uh, in most cases, in most trading platforms, bullish candles marked by green. Red candles, in most trading platforms, it is a bearish downward candle. Next part of a candle, it is a bars versus candle, because quite often, especially on my charts, you can see that I analyze charts by using this stuff. Uh, what's the difference between bars and candle? Honestly, my friends, difference really simple. It is only in a body. Uh, pay attention to imagine if bars would have such body. It would be the same as candles, but uh, bars don't have only this body that's it that's the difference bars also as a candle shows the same information it shows uh, this last left part it shows where price opened uh, where candle uh, bar closed lowest point highest point uh, between bars and candles there are only one uh, important uh, difference that just by watch by see a bar you can understand in what direction that bar a bar is it up and down because if this left part below right part it means it is a rise bar if this left part above it is a down bar that's it the next important part uh, of technical analysis it is the time frames what's time frames uh, time frames it is a period of time uh, that uh, candle or bar uh, show information for you pay attention to our beautiful bitcoin let's open bitcoin chart uh, here we have uh, we have bars uh, chart and pay attention for example like this bar this bar it is four hour it shows to me information uh, that were four hour, four hour. How price change it f four hour uh, in a row. Pay attention that I can change it, f for example, to one hour. And what I see here, I see how price change every hour, every hour. How price open, rose, drop, and close. Uh, that's it. About time frames, uh, I have uh, a lesson on our YouTube channel. I highly recommend you to watch. I will add it to description about multi time frame analysis how to use it deeply i just highly recommend you to watch it after this uh, course the next uh, important part of trading it is uh, long and short remember that uh, during trading uh, we can make money while price rise and also 
when price drops. About drops, I explain you it in more detail because long for you it's really easy. You buy cheap, sell uh, high, and it's really ch easy to understand. But what about short? Let let me explain to you. Long, uh, my friends, it means uh, buy. Short means sell. Uh, long when they are saying they quote like uh, I would like to take a long. It means I would like to make money uh, for price rise. Uh, what about uh, short? How short works? Short selling. It is approach in trading when you can make money for when price dropping. Pay attention to this example. Like Bitcoin, where in this bear uh, trend, since downtrend, since uh, uh, 10th, uh, 9th of November, since the uh, first part of November, until uh, these days. And during these days, uh, most of you, uh, like, how to make money? If price drops, you buy coins, but price drops, it means you lose money. But in trading, you can make money even if price drops. Uh, it calls short selling. How it works in basics? Really simple. You borrow something. For ex let's let's do example with this uh, cell phone. Imagine that I know that this cell phone will co uh, this iPhone will cost tomorrow. For example, today it cost uh, one thousand, and I know that it will cost uh, tomorrow five hundred. And what I do today, I sell it to someone, to my friend, for example, or another guy for one thousand. I have 1000 real dollars and on another day I go to a shop because I know that it will cost 500 and buy much cheaper same iPhone for 500 and I have iPhone and I have 500. On the stock market, crypto market, a fixed market, it works automatically. Example for you with a crypto and stock market. How it works? Uh, you borrow shares uh, crypto from a broker for example it is a you it is you you borrow it from a broker you borrow it uh, let's do an example uh, you borrow Bitcoin at 35,000 one Bitcoin you decided to open short sell and you borrowed and sold it on exchange like you sold it on Binance and after that to close your trade to close your trade you must buy back your coins and uh, return the loan it's how it works imagine if price dropped from 35 for example to 29 same bitcoin you can buy back cheaper and you buy same bitcoin and again you return it to exchange where you borrowed that's how short selling works why exchanges brokers uh, like to do this uh, because when you do short selling, uh, they make more money because you do more trades, more volume, and for them, it's really additional money. The next part of a trading, it is a leverage. Uh, what is a leverage? Uh, for example, really basic example. At this moment, uh, current price of Bitcoin is approximately 30,000. Like yesterday in our private community, I shared uh, this trade idea to take long on Bitcoin, like this one. And uh, what if you have a desire to make more money? You use leverage because even if you have less money, for example, you have $3,000 uh, on your account, you can buy, you can open a trade with 10x. Uh, Binance allows and Bybit allows you to use 25x uh, leverage. That means with 10x leverage, you can open positions that 10 times big, it is 30,000. It is one Bitcoin at this moment. And if price rise for, like from this, price rose 1,841. That means with leverage, instead of making, if you would have... Uh, 300 you would make six percent to 300 because pay attention here it is a profit but if you use 10 times bigger leverage that means your profit was 63 percent 
it is the leverage beauty of leverage it is uh, in a case if you know how to use it because my friends if you don't know how to use leverage believe me it will be even bad to use it because uh, if you don't know how uh, in most cases it will uh, damage you uh, the next important part uh, in technical analysis it is a trend to understand all of these basics uh, it is a trend uh, there are three types of a trend first one it is a bullish bullish it means uptrend uh, bullish uh, why it calls bullish because uh, many many years ago on a wall street there were fighting pits between bears and bulls and bears uh, mostly took their prey below and bulls push up that's it a really simple uh, uh, name uh, bullish uh, it is uh, bullish uptrend bearish it is a downtrend a range it is a sideways let me show to you uh, all of these three types of the market about all of these three types first one uh, let's cover bullish trend how it looks uh, it is when in most cases price moves up when every low higher and higher and every high higher and higher have a look on this example it is like a trend on bitcoin pay attention every low higher higher and higher uh, when we analyze a trend it is so important to use bigger time frames remember a part when we cover time frames once more uh, for uh, bitcoin it is far more important to pay analyze it only on bigger time frames four hour and daily pay attention higher lower 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 only this one was exception fake out uh, lower lower and lower that's example for you of a bear trend now opposite example for you my dear it is lower low uh, lower high uh, lower high higher 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 and higher that's how it works uh, opposite example for you it is a downward trend it calls bearish it is when every high lower lower and lower and every low also lower and lower and about sideways quite often sideways it is like this one it is when price for quite big period of time moves uh, in uh, in the middle between two levels how to identify a trend change what we can use uh, in most cases i use the uh, trend lines and indicators to identify a trend change uh, what is a trend line let's cover uh, before what is a trend line and after that i will show you an examples of uh, uh, clear trend line change trend line it is uh, uh, it is a special line on a chart where price bounced uh, from which three and more times in most cases i build it on bigger time frames when price must bounce from this from it three and more times only this create a, a clear trend line because between two places on a chart we can build a line everywhere only three uh, approves that it is a trend line why i use it uh, because quite often uh, pay attention to bitcoin quite often my friends every every trend change on bitcoin started from beautiful trend line breakout pay attention one two three four breakdown another example for you how I build it? I open a chart. Normally, I open daily or uh, for our time frame. And uh, what I do? I I'm looking for places where price bounces it from it several times. I like uh, when uh, before breakout price creates something like this small range, and pay attention one, two, three, and after that break up. Local trend. Another example for you uh, when this uh, bull trend started, uh, price bounced it one two three four five six and only after that it broke it another example uh pay attention before bear market started in may uh, 2021 uh, 20, in april 18 of april 2021 pay attention to this beautiful trend line one two three four even this five price bounced and have a look on this breakdown it's really beautiful I will cover with you uh, how to trade this at the end, as I promised to you, I will show to you a few patterns, how to trade with stop loss, sustain, take profits. 
what uh, what is the rule of thumb uh, we should use uh, for building trend trade uh, trend lines first one uh, always use bigger time frames friends remember to share with me in the comment do you like such course uh, uh, your thoughts about this it's so important uh, uh, because if you like this i will record more lessons about trading that will help you make money and i will do it for free that's why right now write comments and subscribe to this channel help us build bigger community because we are not sponsored by anyone we only sponsored by your like and subscription uh, rule of arms uh, about trend lines uh, first first one uh, use bigger time frames use daily chart daily and for our chart uh, another one there must be free and more touches free and more there also another one how to uh, open a trades i will show you as i promised in the second part of this video as uh, it means for a trend change summary for a trend change I use uh, first approach it is a trend line there also another approach based on indicator VWAP this indicator we will cover it uh, soon really soon another stuff uh, that's really important in trading it is the key levels some people call it uh, support resistance uh, first some people build exactly levels some people build exactly zones both are good and both have uh, advantages uh, and disadvantages because for trading far more important to build clear levels why why uh, because when you have big zone remember when you have for example you build it as a zone remember when you open a trade you must have only one price where you open a trade and only one price where you set a stop loss you can't uh, like you can open a trade in area by small parts but stop loss must be one place that means if you have a zone uh, quite often your stop loss would be really huge that's it that's why i like to uh, build support resistance when it is a clear level what a uh, rule of thumb uh, we should use about uh, for key level uh, support resistance to build it first one as with trend lines use bigger time frames i know that quite a lot of you would like to open low at small time frames do scalping and do a lot of trades but my friends uh, far more important to see bigger picture because bigger levels works for bigger distance uh, that's why again i like to build uh, such levels on a bigger time frame like four hour chart and bigger because on a bigger time frame pay attention how this support uh, played out after that again several times how this support uh, became a resistance and how price after that break down on it it's really awesome uh, how i build it uh, first on trading view uh, if some of you don't know how to use trading view i have full tutorial i also will add it into description to this video just watch it and uh, uh, what you do on trading you there's this stuff it calls horizontal line or this one horizontal rate uh, really simple i i like more race uh, because it shows to me exactly areas when level starts and i look for a places where price bounced from that place several times free also minimum free and pay attention here one two three it is for me i start building level and after that by the way i'll show you one approach how to trade all of this stuff uh, at the end of this video uh, as i promised it is the first one let me show to you another one another example on a bitcoin maybe it was the best example uh, that you will ever find uh, about important trend line remember that every level it has a, a, a foundation of level basement of a level when it starts and pay attention how price bounced it several times i like to build trend uh, levels on a bigger time frame it is like on a daily what you do like this one this daily candle and after that um, i build and i pay attention to areas where price bounced the most one two three four five six seven eight why we don't build a level here because pay attention that this daily candle even didn't close the it and after that price bounced it much more times from this level that's why it for me far more important 
Uh, this stuff works everywhere. You can open any time frame, any coin, and you will find all of these uh, levels everywhere. You can also pay attention like this one, how price bounced so many times from these levels. Pay attention. You want to so many daily candles. Level uh, this candle as a foundation and pay attention how many times uh, price were here before this level breakout. Uh, once more, what types of level do we have? First one, uh, we have a mirror level. It is like this one. When really important area were broken and quite often first approach to that area, uh, price will bounce. Another level, it is uh, a place from which price bounced several times. It calls limit level. It is this one that I built for you on YouTube. Like, pay attention how many times price bounce it from this level exactly exactly beautiful and another type of a level it is a historical historical level quite often if price reach some important area that were traded uh, before it react example for you it is a high on bitcoin this high pay attention this high for bitcoin and first reaction of that high pay attention of this fake out and bounce because it calls it is a third type of a level historical level uh, historical or trend change because once more when price reach such area a lot of people what they will do when they will see such level for example if you bought bitcoin here and you know that it approach all-time high of course you will sell part of coins because it's really a lot and that's how for it works uh, it works because a lot of people sell nearly such level and price uh, bounce uh, opposite example for you my friends it is this one pay attention it also a trend change level this bottom this one it is a trend change why uh, because it was bottomed and from this place price started this rise and have a look first reaction how they stopped I will record a separate lesson for also full course about levels, how to use it, how to trade it, and even one strategy at the end. If you like it, uh, share in the comments. Uh, uh, should I record this lesson as soon as possible? Share it in the comments. The next important part in the trading it is the volume indicators. Uh, why volume is so important? I call volume uh, a fuel for a market. Uh, imagine you have. Imagine that price, it is a car, volume, it is a fuel, it is your gasoline, it is your gas. Without fuel, cannot be a moment. Let me show to you several examples how price exactly bounced after significant volume enters the market. Why it's an example, pay attention here. Exactly on this candle, have a look how volume. First, volume, it is this part. Uh, it shows to us how many uh, Bitcoin traded during this bar or candle uh, at this moment i open daily time frames that means it shows to me daily bars and it shows to me daily volume the traded whole 24 hours and pay attention that quite often when exactly at bottom the biggest volume let me open for hour it's even much 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 clear when price exactly at bo exactly enter at the bottom or top significant volume compared to volume uh, that closer price make really huge reaction B bounce stop uh, stop of a trend pay attention on this volume increase exactly during this candles and this and how price rose after that again have a look on this significant volume at high and price made this drop Pay attention this volume increase and again rise volume have a look on this one significant volume entered exactly at bottom and what price did stopped all this bear trend start as a small range and at this moment it looks pay attention another big volume exactly at bottom i like uh, this kind of volume this kind of volume it calls a vertical volume i use few strategies uh, one of my uh, favorite trading strategy it is a trend line breakout pattern and uh, key level breakout and in both cases volume as one of the best confirmation let me show to you one example that we took a trade few days ago with our community have a look uh, 
have a look my dear uh, for example like CRV a few days ago a few days ago I shared to our community this trade that we took CRV example of how I use volume indicator uh, that helps me make my trades much better much more uh, powerful pay attention uh, CRV get drop uh, heavily but uh, why I didn't uh, sh didn't try to take long here 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 because I don't know where uh, buyers enter the market it's so important that some people start buying a lot of coins and pay attention that significant volume appeared only here in this candle in this candle significant volume appeared and after that pay attention what uh, additional happened additional second volume confirmation and after that because of because I saw it I sent to our community trade idea and after that price rose by 29 percent within two days only because there were significant volume confirmation because once more it it uh, compares this like uh, you um, enter uh, a gas station and you uh, you took a full tank and you have a at this moment you try to drive from like from uh, London to Paris or some other places or from Berlin to uh, Kiev you try to drive your car and you need a lot of uh, you need really big tank and because of that volume it is the best indicator if uh, some people would ask me what is the one indicator uh, that you 100% should watch I would tell you it is a volume all other indicators is not such important as volume as this stuff uh, it's interesting uh, especially for people that do uh, trades uh, let me show to you example how horizontal volume works we open Bitcoin and uh, how we analyze a horizontal volume pay attention at this moment uh, what we do I use indicator uh, it calls this one this indicator on trading view it calls uh, fixed range volume profile uh, it shows to me horizontal volume why it's so important it shows to us areas where people did a lot of trades why such areas is important uh, because for me as for trader for me it's easy to open a trade uh, listen to this logic it's uh, really important at this moment I'm small retail trader even if you have 100 500k account for market uh, perspective it's not uh, so big and uh, but there are whales uh, institutionals Goldman Sachs uh, Bank of America big firms that have millions hundreds of millions after management and uh, they it's for them it's make no sense to trade one Bitcoin and they need thousand bitcoins and uh, ask yourself where is areas where they can buy a lot of bitcoins at the same time it is such ranges because every day they can buy by small part or such areas of significant volume uh, increase it's another areas when they can buy a lot or like this one imagine this big volume that means some a lot of people sold and some people bought and quite often whales uh, it is a place as well whales uh, buy a lot of coins and uh, quite often after breakout such important area price create a trend and such volume quite often become an important uh, support or resistance pay attention like this part this volume increase and have a look how price break it down let me zoom in pay attention how this significant volume become a uh, important resistant I hope you notice that it's exactly bounced uh, from this significant volume why because because it's how market work I will share in the future uh, clear strategies about this one that's why about volume indicators once more I use it as a fuel uh, I use it together with technical analysis I never use volume separately because it's so important uh, the next important indicator that I use uh, for technical analysis it is ATR indicator it is really awesome indicator how it works and what it gives to us ATR it is average to range basically it shows to us volatility of every candle let me show to you example how it calculate pay attention to this uh, Bitcoin let me 
we have uh, such indicator as our uh, script we personally wrote uh, uh, such indicator and have a look here uh, what it uh, what it means let me explain to you ATR show to us volatility how how much price moves per day pay attention to uh, this candle every candle that for example this candle rose by $1,800 uh, this candle size of this candle 973 this candle uh, is 865 this candle uh, 919 how it calculates in most cases uh, we take average volatility of uh, 10 candles that we had in previous period for example imagine that one candle we have 1700 move from its bottom to its high once more candle ATR we calculate distance between bottom and high of a daily remember daily only on daily time frame never on one hour it's uh, important and we calculate such last 10 ca candles we add those numbers 970 875 and after that we divide it by 10 and we have average number and that number is our current ATR why it's so important for us because uh, quite often when we take a trade like at this moment is it good to take long at this moment of course not because pay attention Bitcoin already rose more than 100% of its ATR of its average move and what does it mean that there could be some pullback and after that uh, moment it means quite often especially if you do intraday trading you see that price moved a lot and you open a trade for continue and when you pay attention to ATR rule that if price already moved its average movement you don't take a trade you don't trade uh, entry you skip it because quite often uh, people get trapped in the cases when price let me show to you some example trend line break uh, breakdown pattern and some people might think oh it's beautiful trend line breakdown pattern beautiful price bounce it several times it's awesome but at that time it was more than 145 percent uh, of uh, its uh, average movement I have special indicators that shows to me that number what means 145 percent it means uh, if price moves per day uh, like uh, it is GMT if price moves per day 0 0.25 cents it is a normal volatility from up and down it means that price already moved 25 45 approximately uh, let, let's calculate 25 36 cents it means it's already uh, it's already did uh, it's it means that your tank in your car is empty uh, friends I think uh, it's it may be a little bit complicated for you about ATR we have separate lesson about ATR I highly recommend you to watch and uh, share with me in the comments if you need more lessons I'll record a full lesson how we use ATR with really beautiful examples for you just share with me in the comments another beautiful indicator that I highly recommend you to use it is a VWAP a VWAP uh, it calls volume weighted average price what's the beauty of this indicator uh, beauty and what's the difference between moving average uh, first moving average it is an indicator that built by average of a candle average price of a candle VWAP built based on a volume if a lot of volume traded at bottom it would be lower if a lot of volume traded higher it is higher for example at this moment it is a monthly VWAP it is a monthly VWAP and uh, pay attention my friends how price beautifully moves below VWAP I use VWAP as another example as another way of identifying a trend and I like to use VWAP 
and trend line together as uh, tools to identify a trend. Let me show to you an example with a trend lines and view up together. When you open any time frame and pay attention, when price broke view up and trend line together, quite often it started beautiful trend. View up trend, pay attention to this trend line and view up also broken price started local rise. In what cases it's difficult when there is no v, uh, trend line? I don't use uh, uh, both of them. Once more, for me, uh, VWAP, it is a best confirmation for a trend line to see a trend change. Pay attention, like trend line broken and after that price broke VWAP. Together, they shows to you uh, a medium trend. And at this moment, pay attention that uh, trend line at this moment already broken this local trend uh, trend line and price is close to view up and if price at this moment break view up for me it would be a signal uh, that uh, local or even midterm uptrend started <laughs> now, there are different type of view ups uh, first one uh, monthly view up i use for a trend uh, daily VWAP uh, we use for scalping ideas. Pa every uh, color of VWAP uh, it builds in different different color. It's I add it into my TradingView account. Pay attention here. Now I just write here VWAP volume weighted average price, and you add. I have daily VWAP. It's blue. It is only for intraday trading. Pay attention how. After breakout, price beautifully bounced it from view up. Uh, once more, view up shows to you balance of a day. Another time frame that I use for view up, it is a weekly time frame. Weekly time frame, it is good for a swing trading. If you don't know what swing trading, share with me in the comments. Uh, and we have a lesson, uh, difference between uh, swing trading. Watch a lesson about difference between swing trading and scalping. You'll understand it much better. Let's go to uh, another important part of this lesson. It is a chart patterns. It is maybe a reason why most of you watch this lesson because you want uh, trading strategies, exactly trading strategies. And for you, I will show you three uh, the most interesting patterns that I personally use. It is it would be a double bottom, double uh, high, head and shoulders pattern, and uh, wage pattern. I will show to you uh, three patterns. Share with me in the comments uh, if you would like me to record whole course about patterns because I can take all patterns, everyone, and shows to you exactly how to open trade, how to avoid mistakes of most of the people, and how to avoid the traps. Because if you in a trading for a while, you can see that quite often uh, after some pattern price goes into opposite direction, because you you need to know something the some magic that you need to know to uh, avoid this mistake. Uh, first pattern, it is a double uh, bottom, double high. Uh, I like this one. Uh, what's the idea uh, of this one? Uh, price moves quite often. Uh, after that, at high, we have like this one. Or price dropping, and we have something like this one. Let me show to you one uh, beautiful example about First, uh, closest example for us, it is a GMT. Uh, pay attention at this moment. Remember that this pattern could be built on bigger time frame, on daily time frame, on one hour chart, and uh, it depends uh, what time scale you use. Because if pattern played out on a bigger time frame, that means momentum and movement from that pattern will be much bigger. If you build it on a smaller time frame, also your goal must be smaller. Uh, let's do again an uh, example with a uh, CRV that I shared with you. Uh, this one, it is a beautiful example of uh, double bottom. Uh, because what did? Uh, price get dropped and we had a uh, first stop and after that second stop and trend line breakout pattern. How exactly you can trade it? Let me show to you a real example how you can open, how you can set stop loss on what things uh, you should pay attention. Friends, honestly, first time I share such knowledge entirely for free. I think it worth uh, your subscription and like. Uh, 
pay attention to this one uh, this uh, uh, double bottom pattern this one how do we exactly uh, open a trade first i build always a trend line i always use such patterns for my trading strategy and my main trading strategy it is a trend line breakout that's it it doesn't matter what pattern you will see that head and shoulders this pattern wedge pattern in every case we take a trade after breakout level of a trend or a trend line and pay attention to this one i built a beautiful trend line from which price bounced it several times pay attention price bounced it one two three four five six times after that what we have volume for me volume at bottom or at high it is the most important confirmation without volume i in most cases i will skip such trade how we can take a trade let's let's do this uh, live example imagine the situation you see a chart like this one you see a chart and uh, you see that price squeezing you see that price did significant drop and biggest volume appeared exactly at bottom and you have second confirm it might be a second confirmation of a uh, significant volume and uh, how do i take a trade if the price above uh, daily view up i can take a trade exactly before a uh, moment of breakout for example like this moment i s uh, easily can take a trade because i see that price at above daily view up what i do i just take a trade how i set stop losses and take profit stop loss i use a technical approach i just set stop loss uh, below uh, previous low pay attention to how i shared a trade to our community i uh, i uh, set stop loss exactly below uh, previous low that's it <coughs> it is uh, how we set a stop losses uh, what about uh, take profits uh, really simple uh, quite often i take uh, i set st st uh, take profit by mathematical approach uh, on trading view there are really cool stuff uh, that calls a long short position uh, where you can calculate uh, where you set stop loss take profit it shows to you amount of coins that you should enter it sh uh, what you do you do this stuff long you set on a chart after that uh, here uh, you write your risk we have separate a uh, lesson about this what's that lesson it's so important uh, uh, how to calculate and use all of that stuff and i said take profit by parts first part i set at one to three another part at one to five and another part at one to seven what means uh, one to three it is my risk to reward ratio it means like this one if price hit my stop loss i lose 100 dollars if price reach my take profit i make in three times more about this one i will record the uh, important lesson about this one in the future uh, to help you understand this topic more uh, more deeply let's re uh, let's do this one like at this moment if we took a stop loss really small stop loss price could take us if our stop loss would be bigger price uh, would beautifully move into our direction in that case when we took a trade when i shared with community my stop loss was a little bit bigger and price uh, beautifully reached our target that first target pay attention one two three reached one two five reached and soon uh, price might reach even one to seven target all take profits uh, reached that's it i think every take profit already reached it is this one one two five this one another example for you uh, about this pattern uh, it was here let's open this one gmt pay attention to this double bottom pay attention one two do you notice that also again significant volume was at bottom let me show to you uh, let's also uh, do this as an example of a trade pay attention that also here price built beautiful trend line let me open lower time frame 
30 minutes 30 minutes time period price bounce at once two three one and what we do let's open a replay imagine in such situation what do you see uh, price dropped quite a lot 40 percent and you see that the biggest volume enter exactly here and here it's confirmation for you it is a double bottom after that uh, you wait for a squeezing to a trend line and you can see that price uh, beautifully started squeezing and here what we do in a moment of breakout uh, we take a trade in what uh, what could be a stop loss in a moment of a trade if this stop loss like four percent here oh. uh, as always uh, i told you use simple mathematical approach to setting stop losses remember that here trading you chose to use this number it is your risk reward ratio and uh, uh, you do simple stuff you don't need to think a lot if you are a beginner for a start i highly recommend you to learn how to take at least one to three risk reward why uh, because if you take 10 trades imagine you take 10 trades seven of them hit stop loss and only three of them hit your take profit imagine in a case if price hit your stop loss you lose 100 dollars. if price hit your take profit reach your take profit you make 300 that calls risk reward one to three seven stop losses multiplied by 100 is equal 700 free take profits multiplied by 300 equal 900 that means with only three out of ten profitable trades you make money that's magic and beauty of math pay attention always to this part it's the most important part in trading to know and uh, pay attention boom 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 beautifully and take profit reached in this case uh, if uh, you would keep a trade after this pattern I am planning to record a lesson about this uh, patterns, uh, a deep lessons that everyone uh, can watch. Let me beautifully. Imagine if you would keep a, a trade until this top, uh, you would make one, uh, one to five point seven. That means uh, if you risk one hundred dollars, you can make five hundred dollars only in this trade. Uh, once more summary about this pattern i use this pattern only in a case when i have confirmation from a volume volume it means price volume enters at top or volume enters at bottom only in that case i trade this pattern in other cases i don't take it because in most cases uh, it ends up as a trap Let's do another example for you. Another pattern. Uh, it is a head and shoulders pattern. Head and shoulders. Uh, how it builds? Quite often you can see this stuff. Uh, that price create higher high, higher high, and after that we have lower high. Quite uh, quite often people call it an, a shoulders. And still in every case we will trade it we will trade break uh, breakout of this uh, basement that breakout could be as a trend line or a level in every case you you will see that all examples that i will show you that in every case it still comes to we trade levels or uh, trend lines example for you like this one pay attention if you're in classic uh, this one have a look how price get dropped first second left shoulder head uh, right shoulder and after that price uh, beautifully broke it pay attention to significant volume increase exactly at bottom once more i don't trade this pattern if i don't have volume confirmation let me show to you uh, this situation it was ethereum classic and another pattern that i like to trade it is the wage pattern uh, one of my favorite patterns uh, uh, we can trade it as a trend change as a, and also as a, a trend continue. Let me show to you a few examples. First example, it is this one on Bitcoin. It is the best example that ever possibly you can find this one. Uh, how you build wage pattern? Uh, most, the major idea of a wage pattern is that this foundation 
it big, it's big, and the high or down, it's always become slower. It's always become lower. And uh, quite often, price break it. And quite often, price break it uh, into area uh, if, for example, it rise, quite often it breaks down. If we have opposite picture, for example, like this one, it quite often breaks up. Uh, what's really important in this wage pattern is that price uh, here touch several times and here also several times. Another example for you, a, a wage pattern on also another bigger time frame, pay attention. This one and this one. I think you notice that it's also beautiful wage pattern. Price bounce it several times, price bounce it several times. And uh, if every high higher, we are looking for breaking down. If every high lower, we are looking for breaking up. Uh, once more, volume, it is the best confirmation. And what also you should pay attention, if some coin, especially on crypto, pumped by uh, like 1000% quite often pullback is inevitable. And that's why it's really wise to pay uh, to trade it down. Another example for you uh, of such pattern we can find on this coin GMT uh, hype coin and have a look. Some people uh, wage pattern can call it as a flag, uh, different stuff. Uh, pay attention on this one. Coin, what they did and let's do this one. After this significant uh, breakout of this all ranges, uh, trend lines, uh, price dropped and uh, what they did, price bounced at one, two, three, four, five times and uh, this pattern once more. In what cases I use it as a continue? After breakout of such important area and uh, quite often uh, it is a continue. And how we can take a trade exactly here. Uh, once more, I use a confirmation. Uh, quite often, I use confirmation a weekly view up if it is on bigger time frame, one hour, four hour. And have a look how price exactly were below weekly view up, bounce it from weekly view up exactly here and break it down. How exactly you can take a trade? As uh, in other examples, you can see that price, for example, uh, dropped price dropped heavily and have a look even here significant volume also appeared again at high significant volume here and significant volume here at bottom there was no uh, trend change volume and uh, what we do uh, if price uh, bounce from weekly view up I can take a trade exactly immediately by the market and what we do we do simple short trade this stuff this one we can set uh, like take pro uh, stop loss uh, quite often i set a bull previous uh, uh, tail and take profit as always as i told you by mathematical uh, uh, for for beginners i recommend to use one to three approach one to three approach and boof really fast if uh, you would keep this trade uh, keep this trade and don't scare imagine that this trade dropped by Again, have a look how they bounce it from weekly view up. Again, retested weekly view up. If you would keep uh, this trade until bottom, uh, it could be 1 to 20 risk reward. It's really huge. Friends, uh, remember right now to push like and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you enjoy this lesson. Share in the comments, would you like me record a new lesson about any topic that I covered during this lesson and watch our lesson about my favorite breakout trading strategy that I shared in this video, but more in more details. Take care and trade and make money.